All right, so we are on Seclusion Drive, which fronts the property. Uh, just turned off the paved road, so it's right behind me. Just wanted to show you the access road here. Property is um, real close, so you don't have to drive on this road very far. So just two tenths of a mile and uh, we are here, it's all on the left side of the road here. I'm going to park and uh, we'll go explore it, be right back. Hey everyone, so this property here we have today is a five acre parcel listed at $29,900. Uh, the owners may actually um, carry on it too with uh, just 20% down and uh, most likely a credit check. Uh, so the property here, I'm standing on the road frontage seclusion drive and it goes down this way. There's some pink tape down there just before the uh, power pole with the transformer on it. You can see that right there. Anyway, property ends just before that. And then it goes down this way, about the same distance. But it's all on this side of the road. And let's see, let's go check it out. Explore. See a notice of tree work from PG&E. Tree work on your property is needed to ensure safe and reliable electric service. This will be performed at no cost. Very nice. All right. Um, so this property is located in the town of Montgomery Creek, California. And it's, uh, it's only about 35 minutes from Redding, California. So it's not too far from I-5. I-5 runs through Redding, California. And uh, we'll go in here and see what it looks like. Looks like we got some firewood. I think they're trimming the uh, trees to secure their lines. This is, looks like it's done a while back. A lot of these uh, oak trees will get their leaves here in maybe another month the most. I see the buds starting on these. Starting to, starting to bud. Like a little trail running through here. Nice topography. It's uh, level and gently upsloping this direction. Very usable. Great country setting. Very quiet out here too. Nice. Um, also, so as I stated before, you've got power running along the road frontage. Um, you will need a well and a septic if you want to put a house on this property. Um, it's got excellent topography and great privacy due to the uh, healthy amount of vegetation and trees on this property. So excellent forested setting for your house or your cabin in the woods. Uh, you could also use it as just like a getaway from the city life. 
and uh, definitely gonna be a lot of wildlife out here uh, deer for sure and uh, famous Hat Creek is just 40 minutes from the property further east on Highway 299 which uh, also runs into Highway 89 and Hat Creek uh, happens to be one of the uh, longest spring creeks in California and is generally broken up into two main sections. The upper Hat Creek uh, runs for over 30 miles from the headwaters. So if you guys are into fishing, um, that is an incredible place to fish. And um, <clears throat> much of that river uh, runs through private land, but there are several sections that are stocked throughout the season uh, and popular with you know families and camping and good fishing spots. Um, wild trout. Uh, I think it's a uh, rainbow and brown trout in that creek. So um, that's very popular to fish in and not very far away from here. Actually, let's go up this way here and check it out. Elevation here is about 2,300 feet. One more thing, um, property taxes. I get questions a lot about the property taxes. And here in Shasta County, they are 1% of the assessed value per year. So it's uh, very reasonable. There's some, uh, looks like probably uh, deer. Could be rabbit, but it's kind of a lot for rabbit, so probably deer. <laughs> so on the zoning on this property, uh, TL, I believe that's Timberland District, allows for a single family residence. So you can build a house on it if you'd like, uh, or you can do a mobile home uh, in lieu of a residence. Uh, single family residence, I mean, it's the same thing, but basically you can do a stick stick built house, mobile home manufactured home um, or keep for recreation there's other uh, things you can do too with the zoning such as uh, forest management uh, you could do a Christmas tree farm or something like that agricultural uses uh, you can do sales of uh, products grown on the premises um, you could do like a boutique or small winery um, possibly a second family residence. Uh, you have to check in the details of that though. I don't know if there's a minimum acreage size for that or uh, other requirements they may have. County. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. Very beautiful. Nice mix of trees out here. Pine, such as that one. Cedar, such as that one. And there's another pine and another cedar. And then there was oak when we came in. And there's an oak right there without the leaves on it. And you got uh, manzanita, this bush here. Yeah, nice diverse uh, plant life here. Let's see. I think we're getting near the border of the property, right around here where this pile of dirt is. Let's go back up in here and explore. That's a huge manzanita there. I don't know if it looks like it on camera, but 
that's got to be 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, it's a, pretty impressive. Wow, look at that. Can't even see the leaves on it yet. Let me raise this up here. That is huge. Thick pine tree. Huge diameter base on that thing. Wow. Jeez, that is huge. Here's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Now let's go this way. Zoom. Well, that's zoomed in. Okay. That's an animal trail. Goes right that way. Another big tree over there. That's cool. Oh, this time it's a huge cedar tree. That one right there. Oh man, yeah, it was huge. Oh, we can still go up some more. Almost looks like Christmas tree. There's little fir trees. Definitely gets a little thicker up here. Opens up over there. Property ends a little bit up here. Maybe uh, another 100 feet in that direction. Let's go check this out over here. some animals in here leaving some prints on the ground there oh it's a nice open area got some mountain views too I'll zoom in Yeah, nice spot. Good build site up high. You trim some of these branches and some of the trees a little bit here. You have some snow capped mountains in the background, I can see. Very nice. Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with this property. It's got a lot of usable land to it, the whole thing. It's uh very forested. Like the country setting, this is ideal. It's not super high elevation, but high enough to get the really cool trees. You go down low and you won't get the pines and the cedar trees and the, um, and the fir trees. It's 
It's a really good price for this property in my opinion. You got power, usable, easy access to the paved road, not far from Redding or I-5. Um, and then I was mentioning Hat Creek if you're into fishing. And there's Burning Falls, which is, if you don't know what that is, you've got to go Google that. That's incredible uh, waterfall. I've been to it many times, it's awesome. Some hiking trails around there too on Burning Falls. And that's real close to this property. All right, guess that wraps up this property. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.